everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a collab video and it is called My 10 uh, Ride or Die Products. So if you guys are curious of what My 10 Ride or Die Products are, keep on watching. Okay, so I am actually collabing with Erica Corey. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. I have been watching her for uh, a while now. I know somebody shouted her out and I'm trying to remember who it was and who gave her a mention. It might have been Cinnamon Girl Beauty, Michelle, or Marlene Fab and Glam over 50. I think it was one of those two. I'm not quite really sure who it was, but I remember somebody did a shout out and I went over and checked her out and I just really enjoy watching Erica. First of all, I love her name, Erica. Crazy enough, her name, Erica, was one of the names I was trying to pick for my daughter. It was between Corinne or Erica. Uh, so I, I think that name is such a beautiful name. And she's a beautiful woman as it is anyway. I just really enjoy watching her. She is a makeup artist. Um, she just recently gone to Paris. I can't even imagine. She was showing all the items that she got from Paris, from beauty to just little trinket things, you know, like collector things and just all sorts of stuff. And I just really, really enjoy watching her. I do trust her opinion on a lot of different things too, you know, like when it comes to the makeup or skincare and all those kind of things, which actually skincare, she purchased quite a bit when she was in, in Paris. I probably would have done the same thing. I might've been tempted on the makeup, no doubt, but uh, I probably would have gone more for the skincare myself too at this point. So yeah. So please go check her out. I'll have a link down below to her video. You will not be disappointed, guaranteed. So, and then also, <laughs> I have some earrings on, which no, I didn't get my ears pierced yet. Usually, well, I think when you get ears pierced, you can't wear, you have to wear a certain earring for a while till they kind of go through their process or whatever. But Mary Glitzy Fritzy got me in the mood to uh, pull out a couple of my clip earrings because I don't really always wear clip earrings too much because they do hurt. They are kind of, they do hurt after a while. That's the only bad downfall about clipped earrings for me. I love dangly earrings like this. And these I got a long time ago from uh, Avon. I have a gold pair too, but since I do wear a lot more silver, now in these days, but yeah, I'd pull these out. They look like little chandelier kind of, you know, kind of earrings and stuff. So, and the earring that Mary made, uh, made for me. Yeah, she had made it. <laughs> but the little uh, cuff earring that um, I have here, if y'all didn't see it, it is super cute. You just clip it on your uh, earlobe and it goes like right up and through here. It just, it looks cute for that little extra something. So, and if you're interested in that, I'll put her shop down below. Mary has a lot of nice jewelry on her shop. I do see a lot of these kind of earrings on there, you know, like the dangle down. And so I might get my ears pierced at some point, believe it or not. Like I said, I don't have them pierced. So if you're new to my channel right now, yeah, I don't have my ears pierced. Let's go ahead and get into my 10 Ride or Die products. So you guys probably have seen the all famous Ride or Die tag that Jaclyn Hill created. I actually never got to do that. I kept wanting to do it. I'll be honest, I am terrible with tags. If you tag me, I apologize. I don't mean to just disregard it, put it off to the side or ignore it. I get super busy. I really, I do. I get super busy. I do have a part-time job helping out for the care for my brother. It can get a little hectic and crazy in the house. Uh, so I have that and then I'm trying to do my channel, my things that I do enjoy and love, and then plus the other things. So um, it's not that I ignore it. It's just, I am terrible. So I wanted to do the ride or die tag and I kept thinking about doing it and then I was going to do it and then just it kind of pushed, 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 pushed. Um, so when Erica had approached me and we were talking and we were like, yeah, let's do a collab together. It is hard when you're trying to pick only 10. The ride and die that Jacqueline Hill did, you have a little bit of everything in the whole categories. Like she picked like your palettes, your liners, your lipsticks, your skincare and all these different things. So I actually, I don't know if she did skincare, but 
maybe I can't I just remember there was a list so okay I'm gonna quit chipper jabber and let's get started so I did put skincare in mine because there's some products in here that I feel pretty good and legit to say these items I will repurchase they are gonna be in my skincare regimen for a long time I will always 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 get it's the body shop youth liquid peel and it's one of those peels that is a gel it was mary ellen after 60 that i seen her share she used some kind of peel like this and it's a gel like substance and you just massage it on your skin and it exfoliates the dead skins oh what? skins skins it exfoliates the skin away like the dead skin that's laying on top and and you'll see these little they're it's like little balls like little white balls that that's your skin that's that's removing all of that so it's a little a little nice peel and it's not too hard or harsh or anything on the skin but I, I love it. Sticking into skincare products, I'm gonna put these two together. From cheating, I'm sorry, but I had to put these two like together to have what the items I wanted to. So I do use these two together. This is uh, from the Zo Health Skin Abaji, Zen Abaji. And you guys know, I mean, you, you probably hear, hear me talk about millions and billions and trillions of times. But if I'm talking about a brand like that, that much, that means something. I'm not saying it to, you know, sponsor them or anything like that. Honestly, it's just, I'm that impressed and I really love them. And, you know, yes, they sent me products and everything, but these I would buy. I would purchase these, but they, they are like a hundred dollars a piece, like around 106, 100. So they aren't cheap. They are pricey, but again when i think about it you know if if next month i had to skip a certain palette uh, a certain something in the makeup i'll do it you know for these this is the bright next skin brightener uh correcting cream and it's a 0.5 percent retinol now retinol is the way i've been going right now i haven't done retina retin a but the only reason why I haven't done Retin-A was because I, like years ago, I did it when I was in my 20s and I had severe acne, had cystic acne. So I do know what Retin-A does to your skin, you know, the irritation, the itchiness, the dryness, the peeling and everything. And I wanted to see more about the difference between Retin-A and Retinol. And I've actually seen some videos that discuss it too, to understand what the difference is. Pretty much the only difference, you know, Retin-A, yeah, it's quicker, it's faster, it produces the new cell renewal kind of thing and, you know, more fresher, newer skin. Retinol, it, it does the same thing, it's just a little more, you know, progress, you know, but for sensitive skin users and stuff, I would say go for Retinol. And I did go the lower dose right now, 0.5%, because it still can irritate your skin or maybe make it a little bit extra dry. So that's where this product comes in because they do recommend it. Now, if you got the retinol, you, you could probably use any kind of cream, mo other moisturizer that you have. You can mix it in with it. Uh, it just recommended for this one here. And I just wanted to give it a try and see. But I like the outcome of the two. So I'll take a pump of this because it does have one of them pumps on top here. And this is the Immerse Renewal Cream. I do mine during the daytime. That is when I do it. I don't do it at night. I will do it more during the daytime. My other big jar of retinol, uh, once in a while we use that. That one isn't as a high dose. Like this is retinol straight up, like, you know, more potent than that one. I'll just pump some of this cream here out and then pump some of this out onto it like just a real quick pump just a little bit and then mix them together and then put it on and yes it has it's really worked these two products here uh ever since i've been using them these noticed a huge dramatic difference in the look of my skin a lot of you guys you know you're noticing all you, you guys are noticing a lot of difference to my skin i'm getting a lot of compliments on my skin lately and i know it's because some of these products that i'm using Guys, can I just tell you, 
it took me a long time to get on this wagon here, the it CC. But let me just say, it has become my favorite, my most favorite. All the other foundations, like I seriously thought about this. I sat and I thought about it. I could do without all my foundations. Every single one of them, all the ones that I've showed you that I've really liked or I thought, you know, like they're amazing and everything. Not that I don't think they're amazing or good, but this just does a complete different thing for me because it does have some skincare benefits, which if y'all know, or maybe you don't know, it does have snail, that uh, snail secretion in it. Yeah, the ITCC, I'm positive because I remember when it first came out, uh, some people were like, what? You know, it, it has the snail secretion in it that is so popular right now in moisturizers, serums, masks, and everything, uh, especially in the Korean uh, industry. So yes, and now this is the illumination one. That's This is the one I have on today, but I do have the original. I like both, actually. I really like both of them. I don't know what took me so long. I guess sometimes when I hear all the hype on an item, I just you know, I, I go for it and I look for it, but sometimes I've heard so much hype on a product and it was really disappointing or it was just like, eh, it's okay, you know. Uh, seriously, I mean, that says a lot when I'm saying all the other foundations, I'd just be like, eh, okay, bye, see you later. So yeah, really, really love my CC. And then speaking of all the hype, I actually jumped on that wagon too and got the sharp sharp. I said that the last time in my video because I have a haul video coming up. You'll be seeing this in my haul video, but the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> I keep wording it wrong, but the Tarte Shape Tape. I've heard everybody talking about it, raving over it, best concealer ever, and you know, I, I'll hear that, but sometimes you're like, you, you know, some people hype up something and it's just like, Eh, you know, or, oh, okay, that's nice, you know, oh, yeah, that's really nice. No, this is like wowza for me because I I really like my Fit Me concealer from Maybelline. That's one of my favorites to use. I like several different Maybelline concealers. Some of those are my favorites, but holy macramole. I mean, but it, it, this is more pricey than the Fit Me. I get that. I just put one little dot on underneath like one little dot and I use my ring finger that's what I use I use my ring finger I, I didn't notice and I'll be 50 years soon uh, will it work for everybody I don't know because some people have had a problem with it but <laughs> honestly I don't see it settling in my lines or anything and it's yeah this is my best I, again if I had to get rid of all my concealers and I had just this and my CC that'd be it for me for makeup. I'd be fine. I'd be totally fine with that. I'm one of them people that are very skeptical. Trust me. So yeah, I really, I love it. Hair. Oh, I know I love that. That's hard for me. There's several shampoos and conditioners I really like a lot, which would be uh, the Joico I'm really enjoy enjoying. I like the Nick Chavez I've gotten. I was really enjoying those. Um, Mark Anthony, the one that smells like lemon custard. So I couldn't pick. I'm like, really? So I thought, okay, well, we're sticking with 10. I'm using the Joico hair oil, and I really like that. It smells wonderful. It is pricey. So, and I thought, well, I've been using this one a lot more uh, lately. Like, I, I've been working with it a lot more. I had it before the Joyaco, and I really liked it, and it is more reasonably priced. So I thought I'd pull and share this one, because if I couldn't get the Joyaco one all the time, I'd be fine with this. The Joyaco one just helps a little bit with uh, hair color, I believe is what it is. But this does pretty much the same for frizz, shine, and everything. And it's the Tresemme Keratin Smooth uh, Infusing Smoothing Serum. This right here, you even got the Allure sticker on it. You can see like the Allure winning sticker. And oh my gosh, and this smells great. You can see I'm getting getting down there. I've had this for a while now. It helps with the shine in my hair, the frizziness in my hair. I actually, yeah, I did put it in this, this, this time here whenever I was doing my hair. So oh, I really like this product. So if I had to pick right now, this is a nice hair serum too. Just maintain those frizzes, give it a little more shine, and 
do a little extra nourishment in my hair. I really like this product. I had to think for a minute here because I thought with makeup and everything, what makeup makeup, like my uh, lipsticks or blushes or eyeshadows and different things like that, would I pick for ride or die? I picked this here, the Tartiest Blush Palette. And I love, Tarte is one of my favorite blushes. Sadly, you can't get this anymore because it was limited edition. But I do use this one a good bit. It has like your pinks, your coral, a little more neutral, and then a shimmery one. It has a little mixture of everything. And I do like the formula of the Tartiest or the Tarte uh, blushes. So I did pick this here as, you know, a, a blush palette that I do gravitate to a good bit when it comes to a blush palette. For a highlighter, this was so easy for me, guys. Seriously, I have a lot of highlighters that I think are so gorgeous, so beautiful. Like Becca, they have beautiful, beautiful highlighters, gorgeous highlighters. Opal is beautiful. The Mally, I love Mally's Effortless Airbrush. You know me with Mally. I love, I love that one. That one is gorgeous too. But my most favorite highlighter, guys. Seriously, this would, this is my most favorite highlighter. And I mean, I try to spread the love, so I, should, I use different ones. Is my Laura Mercier, and I think she calls this the Face Illuminator, and this is Indiscretion, the Laura Mercier highlighter. And I want to get the other shade. I keep saying that, and I keep forgetting because everything's coming out all at once, it seems like sometimes. <laughs> So I get so sidetracked, but this is my most favorite highlighter and the reason why this probably is my most favorite highlighter is I feel like it gives a natural a natural Look to a highlight. I, it does. It just gives a nice natural look. It's right there on my finger and it's just so pretty. I don't know. I mean, it just gives a nice natural look to a highlight. And I do have that on and you can see it is reflecting off, but it's not extreme in your face. So if you're somebody like that, I like both. I don't mind sometimes extreme. I don't mind it, but this is my most favorite one. Okay. Lip products is probably the hardest for me. I really looked through my lipsticks and I could not figure out which one would be my favorite. I told her, I said, I don't know what I'm going to do for that part because if I had to pick a lipstick and I looked and looked and I'm thinking, what lip product is a product that I know is a favorite of mine? And it is from Lorac and it's their uh, Alter Ego Glosses their lip glosses. This one's in the shade called CEO. I do put it in my purse sometimes because just to have that little something on my lips to give a nice natural look, um, but also maybe give me that gloss. These are pigmented, guys. Seriously, like that is a lip gloss. And that's the Alter Ego uh, from Lorac. And oh, I like the smell of these even better yet than some of the other lip glosses I smelled like that have that buttercream that this does, but it has that extra, it just, mm, it smells really good. And I do want to get more colors and it's not really even that tacky sticky. So if you're somebody that doesn't like the tacky sticky feel, they are more smoother between these and Pure Cosmetics. Pure Cosmetics makes really good lip glosses too that aren't sticky or tacky. This would definitely have to, it would have to be in this. It would have to be. And it's my Mally Face Defender. And it's like the craziest thing. You know, it has, uh, it, it's just a clear gel, powdery feeling substance. Mally's Face Defender would have to be. It totally blurs out the pores or anything like I just if I had to blotch like right now I'm getting a little bit of a whatever here I can blotch it on and you know in those areas down here and everything and it just it, it yeah it looks great this was hard too 
it was very hard because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. You guys know that. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I mean, there's a majority of us that have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And, but the one palette that I did prone to a lot when it first came out, and then here and there, I, I still do pick it up and use it. And it is the Lorac Mega Pro 2, the second one that they had that came out again, you know, sadly this, you can't get anymore. And HSN was actually selling these. I don't know if they still are, if they still have them. HSN literally had the Mega Pro 2 on. I couldn't believe that. I was like, wow. Cause this palette here just has all these beautiful colors that, I mean, you, I got my, some colors that I really love. Like there's some purples here, up in here. There's some of these beautiful, beautiful cranberry, reddish brown tones some of the orange tones up in here you got all your mattes here your shimmers down here kojo is like one of my favorite shades in this palette i mean it's a really pretty brownie red color i it's one of my favorites in here this probably would be the palette i would pick i mean there's even a forest green in here there's gold in here there's just so much versatility. So this would be my last thing, my number 10, Ride or Die, this palette here from Lorac, the Mega Pro 2 palette. All right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Erica, for collabing with me and asking me to join you in this whole Ride or Die. Like, at least I got to do somewhat of a Ride or Die video that I wanted to do beforehand. So... Go ahead and check out Erica. Like I said, I'll have a link down below to her video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, uh, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. There is a bell right next to the subscribe button and it will notify you an email of when I do new videos and when they're ready to watch and everything. So it will alert you in other words. And also, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I almost forgot to say that. <laughs> that would make me so happy. And I'd appreciate that. So thank you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. Love you guys. Bye.